everyone! Welcome back to Virtual Teen Summer Reading. This is Amber for Make and Take It Mondays. Our final genre is comedy, and we will be making a prank explosion box. Even if you don't like teasing your friends, explosion boxes are a fun and cheap way to make homemade gift boxes. The supplies for this project are extremely simple. In your kit, you will find a white template sheet and a few different pieces of cardstock. Each sheet of cardstock can essentially make one box, so feel free to mix, match, and experiment with colors. You will also need to grab some scissors, glue, and a pencil, plus any markers, stickers, or pictures that you would like to use to decorate the box. I have added some design inspiration on your kit sheet. First, we must deal with the template. Take your template sheet and cut out the base. Then, focus on the lid. Once you are finished cutting out the basic templates, we can remove the gray squares that are on the base, but only on the base. Do not remove the gray squares from the lid template until step three. For the base, pick out a color. I have decided to focus on black because of course I like black. If you've ever seen me in the library, you will understand this. Trace your template, then cut out the base along the edge of your chosen paper cardstock. Once your base is cut out, we are going to fold it so that each arm of the plus sign folds onto the center base. After folding the arms in, flip over the base and repeat folding the arms in. Essentially, each fold should allow the cardstock to fold either way easily. The lid of the box is similar to the base, but involves a few more cuts and glue. I'm going to stick with black for my base, but feel free to use a color that is different than your base. Trace the lid template in the corner of your cardstock and cut out the lid. Next, you're going to have to cut out the gray part of the lid template that we talked about in step one. These gray areas are where we will have tabs. Place the template back on the lid and mark where the tabs will be. We do not want to cut these tabs fully off the lid, so be careful while cutting. You will notice that each tab has a long side and a short side. Cut only the long side of each tab, then fold the tab against the short side line. Now that each tab is folded, fold the sides of the box inwards. There are no lines, but try to make the folds as even as possible. The last part of our lid is to glue the tabs. Glue the tabs and press them to the back of the sides of the box. Make sure that the box lid stays stable and allow it to dry for at least 30 seconds to a minute before using it on top of your base. Now you can put your lid and your box base together. Make sure they fit and test the box to see if it springs open enough. If it doesn't, you can use your scissors to fine tune and trim around the edges. To decorate, use the guide we talked about during the supply check. Feel free to store small bits of candy inside and use layers. Or you could fill the entire container with glitter or springs, but I think you may surprise yourself rather than the person you intend to give it to. Thank you for watching the final episode of Take and Make It Mondays for Teen Summer Reading 2020. Although this is our last video, check out the library next week for a special bonus craft. And keep your eye on the calendar for special Take and Make It Monday kits throughout the fall. This has been Amber, signing off!